This is a no limit intake setup. I'm doing this video today to let you guys see firsthand the difference between stock and the no limit intake setup. Um, as you can see, the elbow on it on the no limit setup is quite a bit higher and the sweep is much larger, allowing for air entering the, the intake manifold to be pretty close to the same on both banks of the cylinders. Um, the piping is 3 inch all the way from the intake all the way up into the inner cooler. Just like all the other CSC pipes, you do have to cut the core support here. Not a big deal, very easy to do, and it doesn't support anything. So you're not really losing any rigidity um, by cutting it. Um, this is the stainless steel polish set. It has one boot that you can see here by the battery. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Go straight in. When you look inside of this pipe, all the welds that are inside look just like the welds on the outside. Um, air flows right through there, no problem. Uh, I, I believe it's a very, very well-made piece, uh, if you ask me. Uh, I'm very happy with it so far. What I would like to do is I would like to show you guys the factory CAC pipe so you can compare, which is right here. Here's a factory CAC pipe, and as you can see how much it's pinched down, um, right here, right in this area here, it's pinched down to almost nothing. Um, a lot of restriction going on there. So, and this is the area right here where it goes through the core support, and that's why it's like that, and that's why you have to cut your core support in order for the new CAC pipes to fit. Um, they do hit the core support, so you just have to shave it just that little bit to make it fit. Not a big deal. Very easy to do, like I had said. Um, also, to do the no limit intake setup, you do need to do an EGR delete, and you also have to remove your factory um, elbow that's on there, um, which looks like this here. Now in the inside of this, just to give you an idea of what it looks like, flip this up here, you can see just how bad that is in there, um, restrictive. Also, one thing I'd like to show you guys is what happens when you do leave your EGR setup on there. See all that gunk that's in there? That all builds up after time. That's going to give you nothing but problems in your intake and that can make it all the way down into your engine. Overall, I would say I am very happy with a no limit intake setup. I would strongly recommend it to anybody who is looking for a little bit better airflow, cooler EGTs, um, also uh, better spool for the turbos.